Well, if n lambda is too large, we need a large amount of computer memory to store all those grid cells, especially for 3D models. And the length of the simulation could also increase as well, because as dx gets smaller, uh, the expression for dt has dx in it, so you'll see dd gets smaller. I'll say approaches 0. Then more time steps are needed. So n max has to go up to cover the same amount of time in seconds. So as a result of this, grid resolutions on the order of 10 to 20 cells per wavelength are used, which means we need to know the spectrum of our source, and then we need to make sure we have at least 10 cells per wavelength over the full spectrum of the source. So next time, we'll create a code to check the spectrum of our source, and we'll make sure we have at least 10 cells per wavelength.